Welcome to another PHP tutorial. Um, in the past few tutorials, we've been looking at form um, handling with PHP, so taking user input in a form and handling it with PHP. Uh, we've been looking at different um, form elements like uh, text boxes, text areas, passwords, radio buttons, and now we're going to look at checkboxes. So, the difference between a radio button and a checkbox is that a radio button you can only select one option from the list of options, whereas a checkbox you can select one or more options. So you can select as many as you want um, and tick each item that you want to select. So in this tutorial we're going to look at how to create a um, form with checkboxes with multiple options that the user can select from and then we're going to look at how to process that data. So firstly what we'll do is create a form. So I've got two files here. I've got one for my form PHP file and I've got some HTML code and the body section where the form will go. And then I have an action handler.php file which will handle the form data. So to start with we'll add the form field or form tag. So form action equals and it will be action handler.php so that, that's the file that will handle the form data and the method is post. Okay. And we'll just close off that form tag. Oops. And uh, inside the two form tags, we'll add the um, elements. So firstly, we'll add a paragraph with a question. And I'm going to ask the user, which countries would you like to visit? Okay. Just because um, it's a question where there's not just one item that they can select, but they might want to visit multiple countries, so they can select more than one option. So firstly, we'll add input type equals. And the type is a checkbox value. Uh, first one I'll make France. Okay. And then name. What we're going to do is um, put it into um, an array called countries. So we'll put countries, um, open square bracket, close square bracket. Okay. And then after that, we'll close off that uh, input tag and then just put the text next to the checkbox, which will just be France. We'll add a line break so that we can put the next checkbox on the new line. Okay, so what's happening here is we're creating a checkbox. The value of the checkbox is France. And then name is um, this array here, countries. Okay, I'll explain what this is for in a few minutes. But first of all, just copy and paste this a few times. So maybe about four options here and just basically change the values. Um, and so we'll make the second one maybe India and we'll change the value there as well. Um, so value next one maybe Brazil and then text next to that checkbox will be Brazil as well. And then lastly uh, Japan. <laughs> okay so there we go. All right um, we've got some checkboxes there with different options. The last thing to add is a submit button. Okay, and then we'll just close off that paragraph. Um, okay, so actually there was no, no paragraph there. I'll just check what that looks like. Yep, that looks pretty good. So um, no need to close off the paragraph tag there because I already closed it off up here, up here. Okay, so this is what the form looks like so far. And we've got... Um, a few options there to choose from. We've got France, India, Brazil, and Japan. So you can select either one or multiple options there. All right, before clicking on submit. What I might do is actually just put that submit button inside a paragraph. Um, there we go, just so it's separated there. There's a bit more space between it. Okay, so now we need to go to the action handler file and we need to add some PHP code. So firstly, what we need to do is check that um, we have set values. So check that the user has selected at least one option. All right, so that the form is set. And then what we can do is um, display like you've selected the following countries and then use a for each loop to um, display the countries that they've selected. Um, so all the countries that have been put into the array. All right, otherwise we can tell them they must select a country if they haven't done anything. So say if is set, 
uh, dollar sign underscore post, and then it was uh, the countries. All right, so we'll just put countries. Remember that um, this is an array. All right, so we'll just put countries there. And then what we can do is put that into a variable. So oops, dollar sign countries equals dollar sign underscore post countries. Okay. All right, now what we can do is just say echo you selected the following countries. Okay, we can add um, a break here. And then we can have a for each loop to go through the array, um, which remember that this, we're using the post method here and the data that's being sent using the post method is in a an associative array. So we'll have um, keys and values, okay? So what we can do is say for each, um, and then in brackets, country, countries, as dollar sign key, dollar sign value, okay? So we can say that, and then we can echo out on each line the value. So for each one that exists in this array, each item, basically each item that's been checked or ticked on the checkbox will be in this array. And then we're just gonna go through the array one by one, each value and display it on a new line. Okay, so we'll add in the break tag there so each one is on a new line. Close that off. And lastly, down the bottom here, we can add an else statement and just say, um, you must select at least one country if they haven't selected anything at all, okay? So basically, just to sum that up, we've got an if statement here that checks if um, if the form is set, so if at least one option has been selected, then it will um, store all of the selected options from the array in this variable here. And it will say, you selected the following country, as you selected the following countries, and then a for each loop will go through the array and go, go through the array one by one um, and it will grab um, each, each value and its key and then just display um, the value back on each separate new line for every value that's there, okay? Otherwise, if the form is not set, so no option has been selected, then it will tell them you must select at least one country. So we'll go back to the form, just refresh that and I'll pick one option, I'll pick France. It says you selected the following countries. Oh, this time I'll select nothing and submit. It says you must select at least one country. And now I'm just gonna select a few different options, not all of them actually, because I wanna visit all of those countries. Um, or I like all of those countries, so I'll submit. And it says you selected the following countries, France, India, Brazil, and Japan. Okay, so that's basically how to use um, how to create a form with checkboxes, and then um, how to process that data using PHP. Thanks for watching.